Yes. Bully. My question to you is like, should there be co-ed schools or single schools, single sex schools? Hmm. Okay, okay. Hmm. So, question saving very interesting, which is recently asked asked by the Pooja. Hmm. So, like, asked uh, by Pooja. I asked by Pooja. Hmm. So, first of all, the first thing which I would like to highlight here, and I would like to say that uh, it doesn't it doesn't mean mean like uh, quite school would be there. Monica, please. Uh, it yes. doesn't mean like quite school would be there or single school. Single, single sex school, school. Single sex school would be there. It like if a person, girl or boy, if they literally want to, you know, they literally want to study. So for them, doesn't matter hmm. that uh, they are going to study in a quiet school or single school. They will definitely study. Hmm. But if a person or a you know student who literally don't want to study and they are just going for hanging out, hmm. they are just going to uh, like you know for uh, feeling a whale, uh, for having a of, having a whale of time of hanging time. out. So for them, they don't know what is the importance of study. Importance. That, importance of study. That is why somewhere they are wasting their time. So according to me, it up to person person to person from where they just want to. Utilize their time. According to my perspective. Yes, next question. Next question. Yes, uh, Akshita. Akshita. So my second question for you, Aisha, would be, how do you want to define peace? Peace. Huh. Yeah, you have to give the definition of peace. Peace. Okay. So according to me, like, uh, what is the peace? Peace is a, like there are you know in this metallic world, people are searching peace here and there. Hmm. That means. They are they are feeling like uh, if they will go for hanging out somewhere they will go you know like for a uh, vacation tour here and there so that doesn't mean they are getting peace hmm. meaning is that when you are not uh, when you are not peaceful from bottom of your heart you when are not feeling uh, when, when you are not uh, having peace you are not having peace from bottom of your heart you are not feeling happy hmm. inside of you so it's not possible to get a peace. Somewhere you need get to peace. Uh, get, get peace. peace. Hmm. Somewhere you need to understand peace. Like when you are when you are feeling peace, now that time doesn't matter how much you know uh, property you are having, hmm. how much money you are having, Proper how uh, many properties, how you have. many properties you are have. you having, hmm. and how many monies or uh, like business you are having. Uh, if you literally money? want to be hmm. a, if you literally want to uh, you know live a life with peaceful hmm. at that time, if you are having a limited you know limited amount of money at that time, you can easily live your life with peace. And if you are having tremendous amount of money, if you are man, like it's your it's your heart uh -huh. is not peaceful, so it's very difficult to get a peace. Uh -huh. So peace we need from our inside. Yes, 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 yes. Next, Monica. Okay. So my question is for you, Aisha. And animals should get equal rights as women. What's your perspective on this? Animal. Uh -huh. yes. I would like to change this question. All right. Uh -huh. Sex sex education uh, should be mandatory or not? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So. Yes. Uh -huh. Very interesting question, Monica. Uh, According to my uh, conviction, uh, the very first thing I would like to say here, you know, like uh, nowadays, everywhere crime in, crime are increasing day by day. Crime is increasing. Crime is increasing day by day. Why? Why it is in increasing? First of all, we need to find bone of contention here. That uh, somewhere there are, you know, illiterate people. Illiterate illiterate people are there hmm. they don't know or they are not that much educated educated to somewhere i personally feel i feel like there would be you know sex education would be there definitely that people hmm. will get to know that yeah that people will get to know proper education so maybe there would be possibility that uh, crime which is increasing that would be less hmm. exactly exactly yes 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 next uh, uh, shivam what is life hmm. What is life? Yes, first, last question. Huh? First of all, what is life? Life is that what you are living nowadays. Mm -hmm. It is life, but if you want to be, uh, if you want to live a wonderful life, that means a peaceful life. That uh, the thing is that you need to understand, like uh, which we are going through. We are living a life. Some people they are you know wasting their time while doing or do, uh, while doing frivolous thing. Mm. That means uh, they are not caring about their future. They are mm. thinking, okay, they are at their their adult age okay mm. they are means so we can say adult age so they are not having any kind of diseases they are not having any kind of tension mm. and they will thinking okay what is going on they, they will think they will think what is going on let it be like mm. that mm. but if you want to live a good lifestyle that means you have to focus in a each and everything that means your health is very important your personality is very important your future is also very important so if you would 
if you want to live a life which is very very happy life for you so you have to do some good work and uh, go to the extra mile for achieving the thing which you have decided earlier hmm. so that is life oh that's great bethi bethi give a huge round of applause for acha uh, thank you yes yes well done monika yes next akshita All the best. आपके लिए थोड़ा सा ऊपर करना पड़ेगा चल गाइज मे आई हैव योर काइंड अटेंशन यस अ ग्लोरियस एंड इंटेंडिंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल हाई दिस इज एक्चुअल गोरी इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू and today i'll be facing all of your queries you can ask me questions okay okay first question this guy is going to ask aise puchna tha ha pucho suppose suppose if you get a chance to become a one animal which animal you would like to become okay. if i get a chance to become one huh? animal ha huh? okay so uh, if i get the chance to become one animal so i would like to become owl hmm I guess uh, while hearing my answer, you would be thinking, why do I like to become old? Uh, because uh, this is one quality of old that they can just uh, they can just uh, live, uh, they can stay by being awakened hmm. by being awakened at night. So I would by like by staying awake by staying awake at night. So I would like to I would like to adapt this quality inside of myself. Hmm. Yes. Next question. Ha, huh, Aisha. Okay. What do you like? Freedom of speech. Like, what do you think about that? Freedom of speech. okay freedom of speech is a freedom which a person a, a, each and every person should get freedom of speech uh, by this meaning by this word i would i would like to say the freedom of speech meaning each and every person is having this right hmm. to say on each and everything hmm. whatever they are feeling like they are uh, wrong is happening with anybody or with themselves also so they are having this right with themselves with themselves so they are having this right to speak on everything Yes, puja, puja, puja. Ah. Okay, so uh, some people are promoting vegan to be vegan, vegan. So do you really think we people, those who are eating non-vegetarian foods, is destroying uh, food cycle and food nature? All right, it's a very hypoth. It is. It's a very, I guess, interesting question to be answered on. The people there are a lot of people. I am also hearing a lot of things like the doctor also who just belong to Ayurveda. Hmm. So they definitely means they generally promote to be vegan only. Hmm. means they say the people who are just uh, you know having this uh, veg- non vegetarian such as meat uh, of hmm. chicken mutton and beef so they are like a demon hmm. demon demon yeah, no, demon they are like a demon so i want to say it totally depends on the culture and all if hmm. you if you had been uh, if you had been be there if you had been there in hmm. china so definitely you would have been eating lot of things which we would say we are not supposed to have it such as snakes and all huh. right all so i insects insects animals ha huh. acceptable <laughs> so i don't think like it just uh, it just disbalancing the whole uh, ecosystem because uh, it's like a ecosystem animal animals are also having animals so <laughs> yes. we cannot say that uh, we are and some doctor also suggesting to have meat and chicken hmm. if they are suffering from a uh, few diseases hmm yes yes next question monica monica all right what is that thing which is important when you are influencing hmm what is that thing which, uh, which is important so guys i would like to answer of uh, this question of yours monica <laughs> that influencing i think it's a very great skill a one really should have the very important thing which you are you know a being a influencer you should have that's a power of listening hmm. why i am saying power of listening in this world no one wants to listen right we are here to speak we are here to share our problems to everybody hmm. but we are what we aren't having this capability hmm. to listen other people right yes, so yes. when you do listen when you influencing anybody and you do listen they people will get attracted towards you they people will get something from you that that person is listening my problem yes. and in this world in this nutritic world we need we are we want ourselves to being loved hmm. by everybody so i think uh, the power of listening being a influ- influencer should have okay yes next next question ha uh, dharam okay So my question is that if you were a transgender, then what do you do? Transgender, so okay. Hmm. 
all right so if i were a transgender what sort of things would have been done by me so very first thing it would have been very difficult for me to earn money mm. as you know that the status of a transgender is like not so good yes. whenever you're going in a offices in for just uh, getting yourself employed mm. they will ask you uh, they would not allow you they, there is a great they will say that there would be a bad impact on rest of the employees because you are a transgender mm. so for me i would definitely have been facing this issues that i would have in earning issues right i just will have to pound the payment mm. so this would be the issue which i would be facing second thing i guess i would be having a huge confidence inside of me mm. because what i have noticed in transgender they are having this tremendous confidence you know i don't think the people who are just opulent they are having confidence but the people who are impactnious i truly feel from the bottom of my heart that they are truly confident because you can see transgender whatever they feel like speaking they speak or uh, like in the middle of crowd also in public also they speak and recently only i heard just news when girl was really you know she was just uh, she was in trouble she was in trouble mm. and she was asking assistance from lot of people no one had helped her except transgender so you can say like the heart of transgender is very good so i would be definitely having a tremendous confidence inside of myself hmm nick and nick, last question shivam shivam why why women leave their house after marriage why not men uh, <laughs> why women leave why women leave their house after getting married it's like a tabu on the society hmm. because i truly feel if we say we always promote this thing that both women and men are equal so why this thing has happened that women has to sorry women have to leave their house uh, getting after getting married hmm. uh, there is there would be the only reason for this question it would i would be term i would be categorize it as culture only hmm. culture i would categorize it categorize it as culture and rituals only because hmm. this rituals and culture have been followed by us only huh. since our childhood since our ancestor time since our ancient times have been times. getting followed have been getting followed so because of this only girl have to leave their house but i girl am has to girl has to leave their house house but i truly believe it should not be there because when both men and women are equals and so i think there there should not be any uh, like if a girl really wants to of if a girl really wants to leave their house after getting married they can it's totally up to the girls but no compulsion no force means girls aren't supposed to be uh, compelled and impelled by the parents by the society to just leave their house after getting married very good very good give a huge round of applause for akshita well done hmm next madam pooja बैठ के ना ठीक आधा घर के ऊपर अच्छा इसलिए इसलिए बोल रहे हैं आज सो के उठ गया कोई नहीं कोई नहीं दैट डजंट मैटर हां सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु इज गोइंग टू आस्क मी सर हां यस आ फर्स्ट ऑफ दिस गाय इज गोइंग टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन सो आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन व्हाट वुड यू डू इफ यू वन द इफ यू वन द लॉटरी इफ यू विन विन इफ यू विन द लॉटरी यस Uh, first of all, if I win the lottery, then I'll spend it on me and my family. I'll give all of my family with the beautiful gifts, uh -huh. and rest I will just invest and I'll just open up my business. Oh, that's great! Yes, Aisha, Aisha. Okay. So, what is the dichotomy between mentor and teacher? What do you think? Hmm. Uh, from since childhood, I've heard of teacher. It comes to my mind like teachers who teaches in school. Hmm. Apart from this, I also know like. Who just give you knowledge? That's it. Hmm. But if when it comes to mentor, it's hmm. like the person who guides you every time. It can be like hmm. if you're even if you're age of twenty five, thirty, forty, fifty, you can have mentor, hmm. and then mentor can guide you any time. It's like this. Hmm. Yes, 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 Monica. So, Pooja, my question is for you: All animal testing should be banned or not? Um, I think it should not be banned hmm. because if companies started. Directly testing on humans, mm. then humans' life can be destroyed. Mm. So it should first be tested on some of the animals, not to all, because mm. I think human life is more precious than animals. Yes. If it comes to us, mm. don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Shivam, Shivam, Shivam. Why government? Why government was saying alcohol is a dangerous food for our health? 
Why not he was banned? Uh, why government doesn't ban? When it is very injurious or can say noxious for the people. Okay, the answer is, uh, do you eat uh, street food? Yeah. Okay. So answer is like, even though you know what are the harmful effects of street food, then also you eat that food. I'm asking for a drink. I, I know. Like, even though we, we are acquainted with things, hmm. like so many things are harmful for us, hmm. then, then also we take that. It's, it's the same thing. Alcohol, everyone knows. Hmm. Like, this is harmful for us. Still, we are consuming it and government is not banning it because it's a source of income. Hmm. Like, if we calculate, like 60% of income is from alcohol and cigarettes. Yes. So, how can government ban it? Like, hmm. we should be aware of ourselves. Hmm. We should not consume that. Ourselves. Yes. Hmm. Yes, yes. Akshita, yeah. Akshita, Akshita. Okay. Okay. My question is for you, Pooja. Where does belief come from? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. Believe. I can change the question if you want. Ah. Change. Do you want yeah. the question to be changed? Okay. Second question for you. Brain runs faster than you. Do you want to believe in it? Of course it is. Like, first of all, I would like to ask the first question. Hmm. Okay. Like, belief. Hmm. From, where, from where beliefs come from? Hmm. Like, where does say, belief come from? Where does belief come from? Hmm. If you like see your parents, okay, when you are like child, then belief come from our parents first. Like hmm. they made us believe. Hmm. Like if you ask something from parents, they believe, they made you believe. Yes, you'll get it. Hmm. You'll get it. They made it assured. Like then you started believing. Okay, yes, they will do this for us. From that point the moment we started believing things. Hmm. Like yes, it can happen, it can happen. They made assured. They give you a shorty like yes, we will do this for you. So from there, trust and beliefs come from. Mm -hmm. So and this stays for us throughout our life because throughout the people we make uh, may, uh, meet in our life, everyone makes us believe everything. Mm -hmm. Like yes, you can achieve it. You can achieve your goal. So belief comes from here only. Mm -hmm. Yes, dharam dharam. Uh, so what do you understand with this phrase, which is like tit for tat? Tit for tat, this phrase is very good. I also believe this, but not every time. Hmm. Like, tit for tat is means, jo jaisa karta hai, waisa paata hai. Hmm. It's like that. Yes. Okay? So, I think is, revenge should be taken. Okay? We should not take revenge. We should believe in forgiveness. Hmm. Because if you will do the same thing, then what will be the difference between you and that person? Hmm. So, tit for tat is good if, like we say, na, karma is there hmm. to punish that person. So it should depend on the karma only, not to us. Yes. So tit for tat is good, but we should not take it to ourselves. Hmm. Very good. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. This guy wants to ask a question. My question is to you is, what do you think is the most difficult thing about being a manager or executive? Difficult thing about being a manager? Or executive. Executive. Okay. So being a manager is very, very hectic work to do hmm. because the word itself conveys. Hmm. Manager means is to manage. Hmm. Like employees and work which is going on. Hmm. So don't you think so? It's very tough to handle people. Hmm. Like if I say to handle one kid, it's very tough. Hmm. But to handle whole office and employees of that uh, company, it's very tough. Hmm. So being a manager is like you have to uh, deal with accountant also. Hmm. You have to deal with HR department also. Yes. You have to deal with like if a person is leaving that office or not. So you have to deal everything. Hmm. So this is the most important thing is like if a person leaves an office hmm. while you have given provide, provided training to that person for a long period of time hmm. and that person leaves the office. Hmm. What will the consequences for the office when that person leaves? Okay. Yes, yes, this guy who is being confident nowadays. Should we keep the dog in the house? Should we keep the dog in the house and why? Okay. Very good so question. personally, I just love dogs, hmm. pet dogs. Literally, and I believe each dog should have, each house should have dogs. Okay. So, uh, then. <laughs> because, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, each house should each have Each house dog. should have a dog. Hmm. Because, even though, suppose you are like nuclear family, hmm. and your parents go out for work, and you are alone, and you need some sympathy, love, care, hmm. and that you can get only from a dog. Because, hmm. once I was having dog, and I can feel it. Hmm. Like, that emotional satisfaction a dog can give. 
cannot be given by any of the person. Like at that very moment, I feed it a dog, I hmm. nurture a dog like a baby, hmm. and that you know care, love is because of him only, hmm. the dog. Yes. So I believe it should be with everyone just to console you in your bad times. Hmm. The dog can feel your feelings. Yes. That human cannot detect. So I think dog should be everywhere hmm. in all the houses. Monica, Monica, Monica. This question. Death penalty should be given to all the members or not? All the family members. All the family members? Yes, like there should be one death penalty given by any, like to the... Death penalty is like... Death, to, death to penalty uh, should be given to juveniles or not? Yeah. Juveniles. Huh, juveniles. 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 Hmm. See, I personally believe that penalty should not be there for anyone. Huh. Because okay. if you are... Killing that person hmm. at a very moment, at a point. Hmm. So what's the like? We should we need to teach that person a lesson. Hmm. Like that person did wrong. Okay. Hmm. So if the life is taken of that person, hmm. then how the person is going to realize like what he did? Hmm. So that penalty should not be there. In spite of that, less like uh, different punishment should be there. Like uh, he should be made realize by like hmm. you know harsh penalties are there. We should give that, hmm. like What's work for rest of the life, hmm. imprisonment, imprisonment for rest of the life, and work for poor people, hmm. so that he will be aware. Hmm. Like he should not do that uh, in again, again, again. Yes, uh, give a huge round of applause for Tiza. <laughs> Yes, next, Monica. Yes. Monica. Yes, first question who is going to ask? Yes, Aisha. Ah, who, is, who is having more responsibility, a man or a woman? Hmm. Like, no, it's like not even a man, like all, both the gen. Sorry, Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I very warm and splendid good morning to one and all whosoever is present here. My name is Monica Maheshwari and today I am going to give first answer of Aisha that who is having uh, more responsibility, a man or a woman. Like both are having the same responsibility. If a man is going outside for working, then women is taking care of that house and she knows how to spend, like she will just spend entire money, how she has to bear the expenses of her children. It has to, has to, has to. Has to bear the expenses of the children or how to manage that entire money. So I don't think so a man is having more responsibility or a woman is having more responsibility. They both are... More, more responsibilities. More responsibilities. They both are having the same responsibilities. When a woman is going out or a man is going out, they both are earning. Then they are. They both are having same responsibility. Like whenever they will come back, they have to make food and all. So somewhere they both are having the same responsibility from my perspective. Mm, yes. Next question. Yes, Aman. So what if if you are ruling the whole the world? What kind of change? What do you want to change? All right. If I am ruling whole world, then first thing which I want to change that is rights for women. Like some rules which are not even made yet and we are just uh, uh, taking that complaints. Mm. A women rape, women female in, in, uh, multinations mm. and futus uh, and all and all. So somewhere first change which I want to bring for women and for men's safety. Mm. That whosoever is going at night, whosoever is coming back from the office from late night, they are safe somewhere in India. Mm. Because as we are acquainted with this thing in Mumbai, Bangalore, there, there these kind of the cities are very much safe whenever you are going out you can walk here and there and out uh, like any time mm. at night too so somewhere the first thing which i want to bring revamp in our world that is to change the mentality of the person i'll try my best and uh, like bringing like to give some rights to girls that they can go outside at any time and i would like to uh, solve the cases of corruption and all mm. because how the uh, when the corruption is there our country is not at all developed hmm. because the entire money which we are spending we are which we are giving it is going to one person's pocket only hmm. so somewhere that person is rich and rich and that person is becoming rich and rich and rich but but what about hmm. others those who are poor hmm. in packages so somewhere i have gone these revamp in which like poverty uh, rape cases and third thing is corruption hmm. yes next question shivam shivam what is the worst and the best thing about Male. Hmm. Male. 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 
The best thing about male that uh, somewhere male know that he or male she knows, she, knows. She, he is having lot of responsibilities hmm. on his soul, soul, shoulders. shoulders. Huh. So like he knows like whatever work comes in front of male, he is ready to do that work. Hmm. He never denies. But for women, she thought she celebrate a lot. Celebrates. Like if she is oh. going outside, she is safe. What is the timing and all and all and all. So, but male male is preferred to do lot of things hmm. at any time. He is free and he will just try to join uh, hmm. like any type of jobs. Hmm. And the worst thing about being male, that is I guess uh, rudeness. Hmm. And anger. Anger hmm. is more in males as compared to women. Hmm. Uh, males understand little bit later hmm. as compared to males. <laughs> as compared to uh, women. Uh, women. Women. Yes, Pooja. Uh, according to you, what is the importance of extra curricular activities in school? Extra curricular activities like dances, singing, you know, debate, competition, choir games, sports. So, what is the theaters, dramas, and all? Please repeat your question. What is the importance of co-curricular activities in schools and colleges? Alright. So, like whenever we are doing any types of co-curricular activities, so we are having more confidence. Somewhere we are perfect in that uh, thing. Like uh, you can take an example of our Dharambi. Yeah. He just went to uh, debate. He, uh, he, <laughs> he, he compete with other students like with competed, my students. Huh with my school, the new Greenfield School Saket and he got first prize. I don't know how is it possible, like uh, it mm. can happen. But the competition he fought somewhere, he got mm. that thing, he got that prize. Mm. And he got first prize in first battle mm. and on I guess national level he got second prize. Oh. So somewhere that matters a lot. He is mm. uh, uh, like, he's learning English here and he is just uh, trying to get that thing accomplished in his school. So somewhere we are got, we are getting a lot of applauding and we are applause, like, applause. applause and uh, he is increased he increased his confidence a lot. Mm. Whenever we are asking him to dance in front of the road, he is ready. Mm. He just went there on the, and on the road. On the road. On the road hmm. He just uh, he got ready and he start dancing. He, huh. So with the he help gets of, ready. He gets he ready. He gets ready. Yeah. So with the help of co-curricular activities, we can increase our confidence and uh, we can we can give our best in lot of uh, like in co-activities. Last question, Akshita. Yeah. My last question for you: Is it true that educated people are less judgmental? What's your call on it? No, educated people are very judgmental. They are like, if I am educated, they are going to judge you. Like, we all are educated. Hmm. So, somewhere we are going to judge a person's personality. What kind of clothes he is wearing, what type of hairs he is having or she is having, what is this personality and all. So, I guess the person who is, uh, who is educated, they judge a lot. Hmm. Like uh, she is walking with a boy, so I am I know this thing because I was also in college and I know everything and all and all. But a girl is walking with a boy, that means she is characterless and all. This thing comes mostly from judge, like educated people, hmm. which I heard. Like because uh, they are knowing this thing, wow. hmm. they said a lot of things. They say? <laughs> they say a lot of things that... Uh, yeah. okay. They say a lot of things then? So, educated people are more judgmental as compared to uneducated people because uh, the educated people they are they are just uh, uh, just. Okay, that's it. Very, very good. Clap for the First question, Shivam. Why our government was focused on car insurance and why not focus on human insurance? Eight minute. Once again, once again. Huh. Why our government was focused on car insurance? Why not focus on why? Why, not why government is focusing human insurance? Oh. Is focusing. Uh, actually, I don't have any idea about this, but mm. uh, according to my perspective, I think government thinks that there is a <coughs> huge population and the cars are expensive too. So I think uh, he. Like I think that uh, the the government is more uh, uh, more focusing on the insurance of the car rather mm. than the human. So okay. Yes. 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 Akshita. Since we are accumulated, whole world is full of negativity. 
Hmm. So how can a person stay by being positive all the time? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So a person can only be positive uh, when he have like he, he have peace in his mind. He has. Uh, he has peace in his mind, uh, and uh, if we take an initiative to remove the negativity, as we have heard that. Uh, moon moon say samandar banta hai. Hmm. So if a person uh, starts uh, removing the negativity from the world, then I think, according to my perspective, the whole world will be uh, not will not be negative. Okay, okay, okay. Next question, yes, Shivam. No, Monica, Monica. So my question is for you: that sex work or prostitute work should be legal or not? Okay. okay, so uh, according to my perspective, I think this should be legal hmm. because uh, it's up to them like whatever they want to pursue, or whatever they want to do or not. Okay. So it's up to them, uh, every work should be legal. But uh, according to my perspective, uh, in the name of prostitution, the girls are forced to, uh, to be a prostitute or to do uh, this kind of work. So that should not be legal according to my perspective hmm. because that's not right. Oh, great, great. Yes, Pooja, Pooja. According to you, what is most expensive? Human life or materialistic things like buildings, cars and all? Uh, according to my perspective, uh, human life is more uh, expensive. expensive because uh, we, as we, uh, we as humans, uh, the things, if we don't have a good health, if uh, we don't live a good life, we are earning money just to, to live a good life, just to get all these things, so hmm. that our generations uh, will not have any issues and problems in their future. That's why uh, uh, the human life is important rather than the materialistic things. Okay, yes, Aman, Aman. So who has been the most influencing person in your family? Yes, influencing person. Uh, I think so. No one, uh, no one influenced me. Uh, it's uh, it's about me and it's up to my life. Hmm. Like uh, I, I just uh, I just want to follow myself. Whatever I want to do, hmm. like whatever uh, I've got in my mind, whatever I think, that's what I want to pursue. I don't I don't get influenced by people, as I have to, told you earlier also that. I am not following my uh, my passion. I'm uh, I'm following my passion just because of myself. Uh, uh, because of not, I have any ideal or. Yes, Aisha, 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 Aisha. Aisha. Okay. Okay. If machine would be there in the companies in place of human being, like employees, so what kind of situation would be there? Uh, the employment rate would be. Uh, so no, uh, if machine would be there, but uh, we need humans. We need workers to look after the machines. Mm. We uh, cannot be always dependent. Like we cannot be hundred percent dependent on the machines. Mm. Uh, we should be. We should want some workers, but it we, will uh, definitely impact want. the uh, employment rate of our country. That's yes, yes. Uh, uh, Vinay. If you had one superpower, what would you, what would it be? Uh, if I would have some superpowers, uh, I will make the rights, like I will make for the laws for the women, like they are getting raped. Women, women. For the women, uh, like they are getting raped, they are uh, facing some issues, like they are facing in their uh, issues in their own homes, they are not safe in their own homes. They have not equal rights as as men have. Men's name, men, men. Men. Yes, dharam, dharam. So, as per your conviction, is media is moon or bay? Uh, media, uh, according to my perspective, it's both. Hmm. Like, it will provide people knowledge. Hmm. It will. Uh, uh, it will uh, tell all the information which is go on all uh, the pieces of information all the pi pieces of information which is going in our country which, but uh, which it's also a bane like uh, the political uh, leaders are getting uh, more fame uh, uh, through this media uh, the uh, the 
the agencies there are some agencies who are getting uh, some money which are, and which, are? which are getting some money and some uh, good things from that uh, person that mm -hmm. political leader so that uh, he will get he will have some fame and all hmm last question last question yes uh, what is the pitfall of being in political family pitfall danger drawbacks drawbacks Okay, uh, I don't think so. There is any pitfall uh, according to my perspective. Uh, we have uh, some, like we have got some extra, extra advantage. advantage hmm. Yeah, extra uh, extra benefits of being in a political family. Like that's it. That's it. Give a huge round of applause for Shreya. Which is the most heavy burden? Heaviest burden? Heaviest burden in this world. So it's not like this that you can take any particular uh, things name, a particular works name that yeah, it is heavy for you. So it is not like this. It mm. is for particular person. It is for some particular reason. So mm. because of this, you will feel like that. Yeah, that is a so heavy burden for me. Mm -hmm. So for that particular person, mm. it is like this. Oh yes, yes, Akshita. My question is for you, Dharam. If a person is past master at communication skills and not having any other skills, hmm. so do you think that person hmm. could uh, could get success? Hmm. Because as for my condition, there is many type of work. In there which are many there, type of there, pieces there, of work. There are many types of uh, many types of pieces of work which you can do if you are having that particular uh, communication skill. Because the communication skills, pe lack of people uh, are, are running behind that communication skills. Because of that, uh, they are feeling like that, yeah, we, are not, we aren't able to, uh, all those things, whatever we are having, we are not able to express it properly. So that's the reason behind that. If you are having that uh, communication skill, so then you will get something. Uh, you will get some, uh, any kind of job. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So, so what's your favorite season and what kind of reason behind it and why? So my favorite uh, favorite season is uh, the uh, rainy season because in season uh, I feel like that whatever emotion it's falling down by the uh, by the weather. So it is like this. So that's why I like uh, rainy, uh, rainy weather a lot. Hmm, next, next. Uh, as most of us are very Western culture, yes. so do you think so? It is uh, Western culture is dominating Indian tradition. Indian tradition because uh, is it in danger? Is it in danger? Yes, we can say. Uh, but most of uh, most of the people are doing something for this because they are keep uh, they are just uh, collaborating all the things, which is the relatable culture and your Western culture also. They are combining their, all of those things. So that's why from this way we can save it. Otherwise, yeah, it, it, way, it has been depolarized already. That we are uh, all are running behind that Western culture only. Mm -hmm. We are wearing Western dresses uh, instead of wearing a cultural dress. Been destroyed. Yes, 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 Monica. Vocational and technical training is more valuable for promoting the economy than standard university education. Put light on this topic. Sorry, I didn't hear. <coughs> Once again, uh, could you repeat? Vocational this? and technical training is more valuable for promo for promoting the economy than standard university education. You have to put light on this topic. And if you didn't understand, you have to ask me for understanding. Yeah. Not to really understand. I'm not going to understand. <laughs> not going to understand. <laughs> or, <laughs> my question is for you. Huh. So change the question. Training, change, change the question. Change. Huh. Demonetization done again or not? Demonetization again. Yes. So in my conviction, yeah, I have seen some great advantages, some pros for this. Yes. So because of this, I can say that yeah, if, uh, demonetization will happen, but not in present time. After 10 or 20 years, it will happen, it should happen again. Mm. But now, it, there is no need to happen, this kind of thing. Yes, so we uh, are... Uh, hmm. sir, we are? Sir, may I ask a question? Uh -huh, yes, so sir. don't you think there is corruption is ended because of uh, like demonetization won't done? So that means the white money won't be there in India. Right. There is a lot of black money in India. So mm -hmm. you want black money till 20 years and after that you want it to be white. 
because uh, I think you are not pretty much acquainted with this that uh, people uh, have find it many ways to uh, to get their money rechanged uh, by the new currency. So that's why if that thing exchange, happen again, exchange. exchange. If that thing happen again, so they will do the same thing which have which they have done already. So that's my some uh, contribution to my country. So after twenty years, it will happen. So we would we would, we could find some new ways to do it. So yes. Yes. Question. Next question. What is the definition of parents? Put some light. I think, as to my conviction, if you are taking your parents so seriously, so that means parents is everything for you. It should be because if you are not giving them that much respect, so I think you are not having that right to live in this world because because of them you are living this, you got this life. So uh, you have to. Uh, even they are the only one who taught you each and everything that how you have to face these kind of thing, how you have to tackle which situation uh, or from which mindset you have to think uh, on that particular base. So that's why uh, parents is everything. Parents right? are everything. That's parents it. That's it. Give a huge round of applause for. Taliya, ma jado, ma jor da. Aha. Bravo. 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 Bravo.